Hey everybody, tonight we're going to be doing Super Mario Advance 2. And I figured out where everything is, so I should have no problems finding the coins and whatnot in this video. And the funny thing is that I didn't even have to look at a guide or anything. I just did a playthrough off-screen, and I ended up finding everything, so... Hopefully I remember where everything is from that playthrough. But then again... Like, you never know. Well, there's the first one. And the one that I was missing in the other video was over there where that red block is. I didn't think to go down there, and sure enough, there was a coin down there. And in that last video, I don't think I went back here, or no, yeah, I did. But I would have had to exit it the first time anyway, because you need that holy fucking shit. Yeah, drowned. Or not. Yeah, drowned in the water. Let's see if I care. Where the hell did you come from? Man. He just came out of... Can you... <sighs> okay, never mind. But what you want to do to get that coin is... Go back over there again. And, and that block will be there. So you can get back up. If you don't have the cape, there will be like a, um, a spring that'll help you get back up, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, but luckily... <laughs> but luckily, I have this cape. Okay, good enough. See if I care, man. Don't need it anyway. Now we just need to get those other two coins, and then we're done with this level. Which, those are really easy to get. Ugh. Come on, charge and chuck. Ugh. Well, that fucking went well. Or, yeah, I guess it did. Alright. Perfect. Okay, there's the fourth one, and then the fifth one's at the end of the level. And there we have it. Perfect power-up, too. Thank fucking God. I, like, I have no idea why this gave me such a problem. Like, I don't know, I guess it's just one of those levels, I suppose. Now, the second one I want to do is... right here. But I want to go get the feather power-up because you're going to need it to get some of the coins. Two of them, to be exact. And it's good to... Oh, <clears throat> holy crap, my voice just, like, messed up. <clears throat> but it's, um... It's good to have two of those feathers, because on that jump that I messed up with the spring, it's good to have two of them, because if you do lose the feather, you can just re-equip it again, or however this game works. Alright. I just don't want to lose the power up on the way up. Uh, see, I want to be really careful here. Like, something like that would mess me up. Stupid Koopa. Alright, now the second one, which I missed in my last playthrough of this, or my practice run of today, as I should say. Now, you want to be careful here. You have to jump at the... Crap. Come on, I know you can do it, Mario. Okay, I guess we didn't need to use the other feather. That's good. I just get it just in case, because it's just for convenience sake. Now, the other two are... Well, there's the first one. And now the second one is... Up there. Yeah, there it is. I need to get the spring. I could fly up there, but it's just a pain in the ass. Do-do-do-do-do. 
Alright, there we go. Now, there's also a, um, a hidden area in this part of the level, but I'll just exit it the normal way first. And I guess I'll just cut to where it is. I mean, this is easy. So yeah, as I said, I'm just gonna cut right here, so, um, hang on one second. Okay, this is where you're supposed to be. It's right in the same area as the spring and all those Koopas up there. What you want to do is get on the edge right here. Hopefully this works. And fly right here. And this is where the secret altern alternative route is. And it's going to not be very useful, but I figured I'd just, you know, show it off for perfection's sake, because that's what I like to do. And that's what it does. It leads you to the first warp. But not that we need it, because we can't do any more of the Star Road as of yet. So now the second one I want to do, or the second level, as I should say, is the Vanilla Ghost House. And this is another level that I did off-screen and found all the coins in. And they're actually not too hard to find, surprisingly enough. Which is kind of weird for a ghost house, because they're usually well hidden. Because there's always, like, weird hidden passages in ghost houses. And there's your first one. <clears throat> and now the second one's kind of tricky to get. If, go Yeah, Mario, like, what the hell? Come on, Boo, get out of the way. Alright, now what you want to do is go down here. Of course, you're in my way again. Dude, just leave me alone, please. I know it's around here somewhere. Is it random or something? Or is it up? I know it was on the bottom. There it is. I guess it's right there. I thought it was on the other side. But you want to go up here to get your other coin. Which is easy enough. And I think the third one's down below as well. <coughs> yeah, there it is. This one's very easy to miss if you go get that one first. Because it's, like, right behind you. Alright, jump over those boos. Screw that. Ooh, ooh, shit. Thank God I had that. Maybe I should fly over this stuff. Or not. Alright, just... Don't do anything stupid now. Because we need only one more coin, and if I mess it up, I'll have to cut everything and do it all over again. What is in here? <clears throat> oh, that's right, the P-switch. Don't hit this yet, because... Oh, there's your other coin. Get those coins, then hit it. Then you can go through here, and then you can exit the level. And there you go. 27. Let's see if we can do this now. Wow! One, two... That's four one-ups, I think? Well, how about that? Alright, um... I'm gonna skip those other levels up on the pipe up there, because... Oh, man, I need to practice those. Yeah, I'm gonna save and continue. I don't think I... Or no, yeah, yeah, I did practice this one. Even though I died in it, but I got all the coins. You know, good enough for me. And for some reason, this level kind of reminds you of, um... What the hell's the name of it? Yoshi Island? 
I don't know why. I think it's just because of those monsters. If they even have a name. Alright. A coin? That's it. I hate when they do that. It, like, the block looks all important. And, like, you just get, like, one stupid-ass coin. I don't know. Alright. It's a hidden block. I don't think you can go any... No, you can't go down there. I think it's good that I have the cape now, because... I don't know, I didn't want that stupid flower for this level. Makes everything a little too difficult. I believe this is a coin as well. Yep, sure enough. Man, there's nothing to talk about. I'm just, like, going down a river of lava on top of skulls. And I don't think you find a coin down here. But I'm just gonna go down it anyway. Or, or, uh, yeah, sure enough, you get a coin down here. What the hell, man? Yeah. Now for the two other coins that I can't really remember offhand, but I'm sure I'll find them. Watch me get to the end of the level and then die like I did the other time. God, that would suck. Because that just means... Or, that just means more editing for me. Yeah, there's the fourth one. Dude, dude, dude! Fuck! Stupid asshole. Oh man. Do they get hurt by these? No, they don't. Well, that's stupid now, isn't it? Oh, and there's the fifth one. Okay, that went smoothly, surprisingly enough. Thought the level was over. I uh, shit. Well, there's the the arrow sign, so it should almost be over. And there we have it. Not bad at all. The stupid thing is, I still gotta do more levels, and I didn't even practice these up till here. Vanilla Dome 4. Oh, God. I, I can just see the fail already in this level. Told you. Alright, yeah, I'm not gonna go back to that top secret area and get a, get all the power-ups. Screw it. Come on, Bill. Bullet Bill. God, this is the first coin and I'm having a problem with it. So those goddamn Bullet Bills are what's gonna cause me problems. Ugh. Okay, at least I got the mushroom. I don't give a flying fuck. Ugh. Okay, I got a one-up. That's good enough for me. There's the second coin. Just don't get killed. Whatever you do. Fuck, fuck. What the hell are you doing? Man. See what I mean? Like, they always just incidentally happen to be, like, right there to, like, take damage. And I didn't want to do that because I'll have to do the level and then get all the coins again, but I'll... I'll... Ooh. Now, something wants to tell me I go down here. Yeah, you do. I don't know, it's weird how I remember, like, the most inconspicuous things. Yeah, I can't even... Yeah, I can't even remember the most like, easiest of things. Just how my mind works, I guess. Let's 
please tell me that... Yeah, there is. Thank God I went down here. We just need two more coins, that's all. There's our fourth one. Now where the hell is that other one? That's what I would like to know. Okay, that went easy enough. That's surprising. My god. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while, so I figured I'd do it. Um, actually, I should go to that top secret area. Because I think it would be wise. And I tend to use this a lot if I need, like, a specific power-up, because it just makes everything so much easier. I just wish I knew about it, like, way earlier. I don't need a Yoshi, because we have to get off of him anyway when we get to the castle. I doubt we'll need the cape, but then again, you never know. Because usually you just come across more of the lines of enemies and obstacles. Then again, it depends what castle it is. But actually, I guess I should just save it for next time, so... In our next video, we're gonna do the third castle. So, I will see you guys later. Bye.